Hi everyone, welcome and thank you for joining me on this creative journey of mine. My name is Rihanna Jacobs and I'm from Mossel Bay in South Africa. Please note you can download the PDF line file free on my website of this image if you would like to paint with me. I always suggest you print on plain paper and transfer it to your watercolour paper. Um, printing on the watercolour paper sometimes leaves a little oily residue from the printer and especially with watercolours, that could be a problem. So we're painting Dobby today. Um, obviously there's like, of all the characters, we all love Dobby. Um, he is just the cutest little thing. Big eyes, how can you ever not love that little face? So I started with a very basic wash again and then darkened it with more red that I placed in the color as I went, um, layer for layer. Um, yeah, that's what I, I started off with and then I just builded it up slowly. I did give a lot of time for drying because it's there's a lot of skin man this guy there's no hairs it's only like the fluff on top but there's not a lot of hair to play with or anything else except skin the eyes are only started later So a little information about Dobby. Um, Dobby was a male house elf who served the Malfoy family. His masters were dark wizards who treated him cruelly. In 1992, he disobeyed his master, masters and tried to warn Harry Potter of the plot to have the Chamber of Secrets reopened. He came to know this via the contact between his master and Lord Voldemort. At the end of the school, that school year, after Harry had vanquished the memory of Tom Riddle and slayed the Basilisks in the Chamber of Secrets, he tricked Lucius Malfoy into freeing Dobby. 
Harry accomplished this by placing T.M. Riddle's diary inside his own sock. Lucius disgustedly ripped the sock off and off the book and threw the sock into the air where Dobby caught it. Dobby suffered a period of unemployment during which he was often ostracized for having no proper shame in regards to being out of work. He was generally pleased to be free, although he did enjoy working as a hobby. Dobby was ecstatic to be out of his, the abusive hands of the Malfoys, but equally pleased to join the Hogwarts staff. At Hogwarts, he could come and go as he liked, did not even have many tasks, and those he did have were fairly simple. Dobby requested some compensation for his work and eventually he and Dumbledore came to an agreement. Dobby went on to work in the kitchens of Hogwarts for which he was paid one galleon a week and got one day off each month. He had been accompanied to Hogwarts by his friend Winky who had recently been dismissed and so began Dobby's new happy life nearby his closest friends Harry, Ron and Hermione.
I think if the eyes were ever seen as the windows to the soul, I think Dobby just shows that. Those gorgeous big green eyes, just, just like so trusting. So I really enjoyed painting them and giving him some character. I used similar colors on his little outfit. I know it's actually a sack, but I felt like the green brought out his eyes a little bit more. And if I used more brownish colors, I think that would blend in with his skin too much. So that's why I decided to use the green.
usually I end my image off with some watercolor pencils and fine liners and the Posca pen that I use to, to get the catch lights in the eyes. Paintings are for sale on my website as prints, postcards, bookmarks, greeting cards and on mugs.
Okay, thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing to my channel if you enjoyed the content. I do post every Monday and I see you soon.